that you have to accept any string that has at least one a okay so if i am reading a i just can jump i can i, I do not have to write anything i can go to write and go to final state qf understood yes and and since the final state qf does not have any further transition the turing machine will stop you can see that on a single transition the turing machine decides that it has to accept the string okay understood yes sir okay so so this is the turing machine form of a so you can uh, after this uh, you can write that my turing machine m will be q will be two states that is q0 and qf okay then my tape alphabets are nothing but a and b my sigma is simply a and my transition function is defined as delta of q0 comma a is what it will be qf qf a uh, and r okay and and you uh, and the answer is complete so now let us try to just a second guy hello ha ko bas tik tak abhi mujhe office ra si kon ha kala हाँ हेलो हाँ कौन है हेलो ओके सो नाउ लेट अस ट्राई टू आंसर वन मोर क्वेश्चन सो ए क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ड दैट डिजाइन अ ट्यूरिंग मशीन टू कंप्यूट वंस कंप्लीमेंट design a turing machine to compute one's complement of a given binary number so do you people remember what to, what we mean by one's complement yes sir okay tell me so suppose i have a string i have a binary number suppose my binary number is 1 1 0 one. what will be its uh, ones complement 0 0 1 0 okay so so how will you design a turing machine for this so first thing you have to load the input string into the infinite tip okay suppose it is 1 1 0 1 okay and the rest of the symbols are b okay now now how the turing machine should behave so on every move it should toggle the bit understood so if it is one it should write as zero and move zero. towards right okay then it should write a one a it should write another zero and move towards right it should write a one and move towards right okay and it should move uh, right zero and move towards right so when it finds a blank symbol what should happen 
it should not do anything okay. and it should move towards left and reach the final state because finally the content of the input tape now contains the once complement yes sir okay so let us now try to represent this whole procedure in the form of the transition diagram so i am in state q0 starting state q0 okay so when i am reading one what i am doing i am writing zero and moving towards right when i am reading zero what i am doing i am writing one and moving towards right and on any and when i reach the uh, when i am reading the blank symbol that means i have completed reading the entire input string i am just i am not writing anything and moving towards left and the fsm just switches to the final state q1 understood yes, sir. so this this way the turing machine is designed so i can say finally so after drawing this state transition diagram what i should write so my m is a seven double thing so i should write q as q0 and q1 my sigma is just 0 and 1 my alphabet set my tape alphabet gamma will be 0 1 b and my uh, transition functions i think there are three transition functions okay q0 with 1 q0 with 0 and what is q0 with b okay so you can write the transition functions yourself and the final state f will be q1 understood yes sir okay now let us now or uh, try to solve a more harder problem than this so once complement seems to be a very easy one so let us now try to solve some more problems that is so now let us can you people uh, know what is a twos complement so my next question is design a turing machine to compute two's complement of a binary number okay so just tell me suppose the same thing suppose my uh, suppose my number is 1101 what will be my two's complement What? So zero zero one one. Uh, how you reach at that? So you first do a ones complement. Okay. So ones complement will be. Then you add one. Okay. So this is the procedure to compute a twos complement. You first do a ones complement and then you add one to it. Okay. Now. Let us try to define that in a Turing machine. How I can compute it through a Turing machine? So the Turing machine will suppose contains one, one, zero, one. The rest of the symbols are blank. So what it should do first? In the first scan, it should do a ones complement. So it will write 0, then 0, then 1, then 0. Okay. After that, it will move to the left and it will again point to the rightmost LSV. Now from here, what will happen? So from here, it will add 1. So addition procedure is what? Addition procedure is if I have in the LSB as already existing as a uh, so 1 1 means I have a 0 with a carry 1 0 is 1 0 1 is 1 and 0 0 is 0 so this is the uh, so I have to distinguish between this 0 and this 0 remember so I have to 
distinguish that okay i am putting i am writing a zero but i am carrying a one with me okay so let us try to draw the turing machine so i am in the starting state q0 okay if i i'm writing like this if i have a zero i write one and move towards right if i have one i write zero and move towards right this will do the once complement thing and if i have a, i 